You're welcome back to the show. Many thanks for staying with us. Like I said, we're talking about the census, and the census night is on Sunday. So Sunday evening, you're supposed to, you you are to expect enumerators come to your home and talk to you through the system. Well, we want you to have an understanding of what your responsibilities are, what you can demand or ask of those who are coming to your home as well, and the importance of this process. Well, let's see if we can make sense of it. I have here in the studio Dr. Grace Bidiako, who is a chairperson of the Ghana Statistical Service Governing Board. You know that uh, this is a very familiar name, a very familiar face as well. Um, 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 uh, Dr. Bidiako, thank you very much for coming. So I, we were just taking some thoughts before we went on a break from social media. And I just want you to speak briefly about it before we go into the details. It looks as if people have a concept, um, let me say misconception about the entire process. A lot of people are saying this is a waste of money. What do you say to these at least seven people who have responded on our Facebook saying this process is unnecessary? Well, thank you very much. I think I would ask the question, if we don't do this, how will we know the issues that is confronting us? How will we know where people live? We have over 100,000 settlements. We need to know where people live. We need to know what facilities are there, whether we can even provide facilities for them. When you think of children that will be born, we need to plan for them. We need to know how many schools we should build, when and how many people will get to a certain age where certain facilities, amenities should be provided. You cannot do anything without data. And Expensive though it seems when you calculate it's less than, um, let's say, 20 Ghana cities per person. Per person. So that's 20 Ghana cities times the estimated 30 or 31 million yeah. people there are. Yes. Okay. So, I mean, it's, when you look at the quantum, it sounds like it's big money. But this money will be um, well utilized. But any other thing you do without proper planning and without the correct data, as someone has said, it's like shooting in the dark. Mm. You, will, you, may, you can get the target, but most times you will not. Okay. And indeed, we have struggled as a country because data have been missing in a lot of the things that we do. Okay. So this is, let's get it right. Let's put data where they belong. It is the beginning of any consideration. In the same way, even in our little homes, our households, whether we know it or not, we're planning with data. Okay. So it's important because we need the data to be able to plan as a country. So let's go through the process. On Sunday night, what is going to happen from start to finish? Thank you. On Sunday night... We, pick, um, we talk about Sunday night because we have designated it as the census night. On that day, in the night, we're starting quite early, maybe around 8 p.m. or so. There will be a lot of um, celebration. And um, it can be the tolling of church bells, the, um, the sounding of the... Will there be like Public fireworks? Public address systems, yes. Okay. But it's different areas will have different things to do. And these are uh, these will be done by the district and the M M MMDCEs or how? Yes, this is um, actually the district, every district has a district census implementation committee. Okay. And so they are organizing all these activities and taking their own district specificities into account. Okay. In fact, I said Sunday afternoon, but we, uh, I said evening, but really it's starting in the morning where in churches, 
there should be some publicity okay. announcement. And we're, we're, I'm sure it's something like that happened today in the mosques. Tomorrow we expect that wherever there's a church gathering, there will be some announcement. Okay. So in the evening with all this fanfare celebration, we will send people out, that's uh, numerators, to the various areas where we need, I mean, this transit um, passengers and so on. Because that day we need to count people who are floating, floating population as it were. Okay. And then from 28, we'll get to the households. Okay. And um, we'll have two weeks to count, to talk to people and get information about them. So 27th night is really a night, we'll mark it because it's the reference point of the census. Okay. Everything we do will relate to that date. So all those people who are in this country, national or foreign, will have to be covered okay. in the census. Okay. So on, on Sunday night, I mean, between Sunday night and the next two weeks that has been designated for the pro program, at what, um, at what point will anybody be counted? Is there going to be like some kind of a schedule or you, because people don't stay at home all the time, etc. How are the enumerators going to go about this? The enumerators, as we will recall, this, these two weeks they have done what we call the listing. So they have identified structures, marked them with um, chalk numbers, and we please um, plead with all of us to keep the numbers on. It's the numbers that will link that, that information that we are going to collect to the record of that household. Now, they will come each day as, um, as long as they can find people to talk to in their houses. Okay. Then they have callback cards. Supposing you, you will not be there, but you think you can make time at a particular time of the day or week, so you will fill the callback cards, and then the enumerator will make every effort to respond to that convenient time that okay. you have indicated. So, so for example, when they come to your house, what should you look out for to um, ascertain the authenticity of the person who has come because people are very uh, apprehensive about who is coming to my home and who I'm opening up my house to. How do I know that this person is an, a certified enumerator? As for the uniform, people can get some yes, anywhere. It's on exactly. So, so, so help <laughs> yes. us. The most important identifier is the I, I, ID card. Okay. We have a special card. Okay. Yes, made. Okay, oh. so let's try and hold it up to the uh, mic, to the camera so that you can have an idea of how it looks like. Okay, please go ahead. Okay, so this is basically what you will have. What has happened is during the period since we started, some people have dropped out. Okay, so let me just indicate to our viewers that. So this is how it looks like. If anybody comes to your home, they should be able to show you something like this. The Ghana 2021 Population and Housing Census. And the person will have their name and then who they are, the name and the position. And then it looks like there's a barcode down, down there. Um, is there a way to authenticate this? Because somebody can also make this, can they? Yes, they can. But I, one thing that we ask people to do is to call. Okay. If you are in doubt, if you are not convinced by what is presented, call our toll-free number, okay. which is 0800-426-426. 0800-426-426. Okay. And find out if this person is okay. enumerated, it's, um, okay. an enumerator. So when someone comes to your home, they ought to show you their ID, the ID we just showed you here. The ID should have the, uh, the topic, 
the 2021 population census and it should also have the name of the person and then the person's position who they are probably a numerator and a picture it should have the person's picture on it if you are not sure of this person you want to call to verify the toll-free number is 0800 and we'll put it on the screen 0800-426-426 please go ahead yes and I, I was about to say that over the period in this last two weeks a few people have dropped out we brought some people on board it may take time for them to get this kind of id okay. but they should have a letter in case someone doesn't have the id they should have a letter introducing them mm. and they must produce their national id card okay so the name on the ID and the letter should match. Okay. But for most of them, almost all will have. Will have this card. We're trying to give everybody, even okay. new ones, the ID card. Okay. So you should look out for this. Some of you have already started sending your questions in for uh, Dr. Bidiako, and I'll be pu putting them across to her. But the number that you can send your message to, if you wish to, is zero five four zero one nine zero. No, wait, 0540109009. That's the number on your screen there. But if you want to call the statistical service to, to check the background of somebody who just walked into your home and said they were to count you, it's 0800-426-426. So someone has come to my house. Actually, um, the, the past week, I've painted my house, for example, and I think I saw the number. But at the time that the painter was doing the painting, I wasn't around. So I think that the, the number that was written there has been cleaned. What happens? Okay. What the, the number can be re-established in various ways from different sources. One is that we collected GPS codes. Okay. Uh, GPS codes. But we also took the um, digital address. Mm. So if you, your structure ha has a digital address pasted on it, it will, they can pick it up and it will match um, the record that has already been taken. And if it doesn't? If, it do if you don't have, the, the numbers are written in some flow okay, direction. Consistency. Yes. So if it's one here, the likelihood that the next one will be two is okay. Yes. And also, you, um, I mean, I'm sure you have observed that they add an arrow. Yes. The arrow is indicating the direction of the next mm -hmm. number. Okay. So they will look around and see what number they are missing. Okay, okay. So let but me just go through. If I may add. Please. So, but since it's raining and numbers can be washed off too, please write your number down, put it somewhere in case it's, it's rubbed okay. off. Yeah. Okay, so somebody is asking, uh, he says, Gifty, I'll be happy if you could ask Madame Bediako why they cannot simply take the data from NIA but waste extra money in the name of counting people. Couldn't the NIA had continued the registration? Why waste the money from Samuel Nugent? I hope, yeah. Could Thank we, you, could we have used NIA? Mm -hmm. Yes. NIA is the goal. Ultimately, one day, we, we should develop our system to use NI, but we can't use just NI. Mm. The births and deaths registration has to be complete because you need to be able to eliminate those who have passed on. Births have to be in your um, identification system mm. to be able to get the complete picture. You also need other administrative systems. Education system has mm -hmm. to be complete. You have to have those who are enrolled, those who have completed. All these questions we ask. So we are unable to use the NIA at the moment because the sort of d data that we're collecting, um, we do not have all of that in we the database the at the system. Yeah. But then this exercise could help better the system at the NIA. That's my understanding. Help me if I'm, I'm not getting it. No, um, this collection, this um, census data collection is governed by very strict confidentiality laws. Okay. When we collect census data, we can only use it for the purpose of 
um, statistics, administrative um, planning, and mm -hmm. so on. So we cannot release individual records. This is why we need to collect this data. We cannot make census okay. with other and sources. I, okay, well, I hope you had an answer to it. This one says, good afternoon, Joy News. I'm an enumerator for this 2021 PAC in Navrongo Municipality. We were told we'll receive CAPS, ID cards, introductory letter, which you mentioned, nose masks, raincoat. As I speak, I've received none of these items, apart from the normal identification jacket, which I believe is what you're wearing, and a bag to put the tablet inside. I've received none of those items that I mentioned. They brought the raincoat, but some of us didn't get because they were few. Please send our grievances to the officials. Oh, thank you. We'll have to apologize for that. All these... Um we keep sending these uh, logistics, and uh, he, should, he should receive all that we have said he will receive. Because um, this weekend, in fact, from yesterday, we've been shipping all the um, materials that they don't have yet. Okay. We have received a lot of... We sent uh, uh, monitors out right from the beginning. So they've been giving us feedback okay. on where the gaps are. Right. So he should receive a okay, So he gave the municipality, so maybe I should just go back and give you the, mention the municipality so that uh, in the checkings, uh, we will just, sorry, okay, Navrongo. Navrongo municipality, so perhaps that's an area that yeah. ought to be given some attention. And we'll be wrapping up in the next five minutes, but let me see. Someone actually sent a photo of you right now on TV and said, please ask why it is not a Ghana flag, but uh, the flag of Canada. That's not the flag of Canada, that's the EU. Oh, this is EU. EU. Oh, yeah. okay. That's EU. This is, so, um, we're, we're doing joint monitoring okay. of the census. Okay. Okay. So... When we, all over the world, you know, census is a global activity. Mm. It's a national, but it's also governed by global um, statistics, okay. um, laws or standards. So we usually have visiting or international monitors, okay. even though we have our national monitors. So this is the jacket they will be using. So okay, this is a jacket I will be using for the process. Yes. Okay, so it's not, okay. Oh, for monitoring. for monitoring. So this is for those who are monitoring, monitoring only. Okay. So this is not the uh, Canadian flag. This is the EU's um, emblem. Uh, emblem. Jointly. There. Okay. So this one says, please ask her why standby workers not paid after, were not paid after they, they, they wasted productive time for the workshop. And long, in the long run, they were not selected after going for interviews and risking lives. So some people were apparently interviewed, but, but, but were not included in the process. Yes. The process was like this. We interviewed, we invited more people than we, we knew we would use. Okay. Because people drop out without notice. Okay. And in every exam, people don't make it. So we have a certain percentage. After that, we invited people to be trained. And again, there are people who dropped off. Then we have standbys. Standbys are those who pass, but we cannot take them on board. Okay. But everybody who came for the training had the same thing. Okay. They had tea and tea. And everything. And, um, okay. We, we've, we, we have to uh, wrap it up here. So let me take your final words. What should people take away from this conversation today, even as we wait for Sunday night? Thank you. Census is an important activity. It's, it's, it's a, a national exercise, and it's not only done in Ghana. All over the world for over ten, a period of 10 years, census is conducted in a, one country or other. We, the, citizen, um, the population needs to cooperate to get good data. Yes, we're saying it's expensive, but think of if we don't do, get it right, then we would have wasted money. Yeah. So we need everybody's cooperation to be able to do this right, and the data would then be beneficial to us. Yes, let's be careful, and so let's make sure that the people that are coming are people that have actually been sent. Yeah. And, um, do you have any security arrangements? For those who are coming, the, the enumerators? 
Yes, we are working with the Ghana Police Service. And so in every district, they have arrangements um, for people going out, especially they, uh, they've identified the hotspots and therefore they will guide our enumerators as to where to go, when and with whom. Doc, thank you so much for coming. It's been a while since we've seen and heard yes, from you. Yes. A very long while, I must say. And so we look forward to a very good census and we look forward to uh, the impact of the census on the lives of the people because people believe that when they're counted, then the state should be able to plan properly yes. for their lives as well. Mm -hmm. Dr. Grace Bediako is the board chair of the Ghana Statistical Service and she has been answering some questions for us on the census which starts on Sunday. Thank you very much once again. Now